Welcome to Renaissance Charge Videos. In this video I'm going to show the four Dupole motor running at 24 volts input, charging 24 volts output, and this is the little battery to run the Arduino board. It doesn't take much energy. But we're going to look at running a fan with the steepest pitch you can imagine. And so this will be the equivalent of around a 100 watt system and we're going to run 100 watt LED bulb not at full brightness but definitely at some so let's take a look notice a little click You can see we're running at about 5 amps. Airflow is extensive. So this a narrow stream here looks quite intense. For these hot summer days that we're experiencing, it is definitely useful. So we can see we're charging up pretty much at the rate we're discharging. And we can go higher or lower. So I'm going lower here. So notice with the what we've put here is a bridge rectifier and some caps across the AC and the DC side. We've shown that in previous videos. Now, the thing about this running it at 24 volts as opposed to 12 volts is the hall sensor here um, generally will need to be moved for running in this direction clockwise you want to move it a little bit more clockwise depending on the RPM of the motor. So if the motor is really loaded down and you have a lower RPM you're going to be moving that it's kind of the speed spot in that direction. And of course if you try to go to 48 volts uh, 36 or 48 volts you're going to have to turn down this pot now in this case it's backwards. So I'm going to turn it up And uh, of course, if it was running in the other direction, you may have liftoff here. <laughs> so now we're exceeding the light capabilities. Of course, we can turn on the lights here. See, we have quite a bright light here. We can turn the lights back on overhead. Now, of course, we want to monitor the temperature of the MOSFET, which is barely warm to the touch, and the diode here. But these are very powerful devices. They are about 100 amps each, 1200 volts. So this is a typical application. Of course, we do have fans. Um, already separate but this is a more ideal circuit or motor with a fan on it than the ones that you normally sell because this geometry is much better in the motor 
So I haven't even turned it up all the way. So now the thing is these coils are cold to the touch because of the fan. So I've covered these details before but in older videos so I'll just go over some things. The limitation of the amperage maximum on this motor will be according to the temperature on the coils. And so the ambient temperature in here is cooler, the air conditioning is on, of course the fan's blowing. Um, so this is all cooled off. Now the other thing I should mention is um, we used to put holes in these plates right near around the bearing so that it can pull the air in from the rotor and distribute it through the coils. We do that in the big motor. But if you want to do that, you can drill some holes there, like we did with the um, EMP motor. You have additional holes for additional coils in there. EMP coil motor. So anyway, um, we can run this about 8 to 10 amps at whatever voltage without getting the coils too hot. And that again will depend upon the ambient temperature. So um, if you can keep them cool like this, then you can push it higher and get more out of it. So if we say got 10 amps at 48 volts or 50 volts, then we could have 500 watt um, system with a single stack. And you can see here, um, we're close to it. We would still need to load it down a little bit further to get up to the 10 amps. Now I can adjust the timing as well. I don't cut my hand off. So the timing is just right on this. Now the thing is, I'm exceeding the voltage of this LED if I go too high. And these batteries are 35 amp hour batteries. Of course these are the ones I've had for years and they still work. One of them was in my Porsche, this one, and so that was 13 years ago that we did the Porsche, and um, they still work well, and these are the size of batteries that you would want to have minimally for this system, if you're going to run it at, you know, 5, 10 amps, um, they could do the 10 amps. And again, we want to make sure the temperature of the heat sink is fine. Let's turn it off now and see the resting voltages. So now we can look at the resting voltages. And of course they will kind of bounce back to where they were. This one will go back down a little bit and this one will go back up. And you can see there's no more amperage being drawn on the amp meter. Alright, thank you for watching.